Commonwealth Games will finally start this weekend. The official baton from the Queen arrives in Delhi today, but campaigners are threatening to disrupt things in protest at forced evictions, which have been made to get ready for the event. Ashish Joshi from Delhi. Ram Singh does not know what the Commonwealth Games are, but the 78-year-old grandfather does know they've ruined his life. This is what's left of his ancestral home, one he shares with 16 family members. Ram Singh's family have lived here for more than seven generations, but the authorities wanted to build a new road leading up to one of the game's practice venues. To do that, the bulldozers had to demolish the buildings that stood here, cutting right through Ram Singh's land. Singh was given less than 24 hours notice. Then the bulldozers moved in. They've told him they're coming back to knock it all down. I have nothing but this little place and the government threatens to take this away as well. I will have no choice but to kill myself. Forced evictions in the name of the games are common across the capital. This is the moment bulldozers raised a slum settlement near a games venue and next to a five-star hotel. And this is what was left of a shanty town near the main stadium. 1,200 people had lived here for over 35 years. Instead of a thriving community, there's now a stadium car park. And these are some of the victims. They were offered no compensation and no alternative housing. For us, the Commonwealth Games means nothing. It has destroyed our homes and our livelihood. It means nothing for the poor of this place. It's estimated that some 400,000 poor people have been evicted from their homes in the past four years. And campaigners think the games are sometimes used as a cover. The policies of the government have been geared to get the poor out of the city, to get them hidden. So you criminalize them and then you try to invisibilize them so that nobody sees them. Slum dwellers, beggars and street vendors are too ugly for sensitive foreign eyes. That's what Delhi's own officials have said on record. In the drive to beautify Delhi, a dark side to the games has emerged. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, Delhi. And we've got the rest of the sport right after the break with Jack.